Welcome all of you once again to Good Evening Cobra Chris is still Tony Aite, the Provo Star is presenting to you another episode. Tonight, the topic is on spiritual wellness and the subtopic is how to maintain a calm life. With me, as usual, it's my guest and our guest, Nana Area. Please welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, uh, viewers, Nana Area is the head of Kanyakom Enterprise, a human development and communication business. In Teba. So tonight, Nanelia, how to maintain calmness? You believe that to make to have calmness is from the Holy Ghost. Yes, I believe that to have calmness is from the Holy Ghost. And basically, I believe this because the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God, which is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. And which can guide us and which guides us in every step that we take so we are able to take steps driven by god himself and those steps lead us to a situation of calm at all times please who is the holy ghost itself the holy ghost is the spirit of god the holy ghost is how can one have the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost, you can have the Holy Ghost when you study and when you are righteous. It says in the book of John chapter 14, verse 15 to 17, it says, If you love me, keep my commands. So Jesus himself speaks. And he says, If you love me, keep my commands. If you love me, keep my commands so when you keep his commands then he will ask the father and he will give you an advocate to help you and be with you forever the spirit of truth and that is the spirit of the Lord and that spirit which comes upon you when you are righteous in your behavior when you are kind, when you are gentle, when you love the Lord, when you love people, when you love God's creations, guides you through every situation of life. Every situation. One who don't have the Holy Ghost, or one don't, who don't even hear of it before, who asks this question, where is the Holy Ghost? What city, what country is it based now? What would be the answer to that question? The Holy Ghost is spirit. That's why it's called the Holy Ghost. What is a ghost? A ghost is a spirit. The Holy Ghost is a spirit. It is the spirit of God. So you cannot see it. it when I read further from this scripture, it says, again, it's John 14, 15 to 17. It says, if you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept Him because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. Not see the Holy Ghost. You don't know the Holy Ghost. Not in the world. But you know Him, for He lives with you and will be in you. Is there a set of people? that will only have the Holy Ghost? Yes. Yes. The Holy Ghost is, ref is reserved for the people who are honorable and who love the Lord. That is why it says, if you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. So in other words, until you ask, God will not give it to you. Even if you ask, and you are asking wrongly, if you ask and you are a miscreant, if you ask and you hate people, if you ask and you are a cheat, you will not get the Holy Ghost. You will not get his guidance. You will not get the spirit of the Lord. Alright, bringing the program to an end, I would like to ask this question for what, how should one ask for the presence of the Holy Ghost? You ask for the presence of the Holy Ghost. And loving the Lord and loving His word and loving other people. When you love the Lord, you are diligent in studying the word and knowing the word. 
and imbibing the word into your system. And you become clean. When you are clean, the Holy Ghost will accept you and be with you. Viewers, you've been hearing from our guests, our lecture on this program, Nana Evia, and we were talking on how to have the Holy Ghost. The topic for today is on spiritual wellness, how to maintain calmness. And we believe, or he believed that Holy Ghost is the only way to have a calm life. We've been talking on how to activate the Holy Ghost. Nanevia, please, before I ask him of his last word, please share the program and leave your comment because we'll be reading all of your comments very soon in this program. Nanevia, please, what will be your last word for the public? My final words are there are many, 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 many things that have been done by people who are many years to have come. There are many, many, many things that have been done. People do so much to have peace of mind. And the question is, are you able to achieve this? Are you able to achieve this? So, you can try the ways that are the world recommends for you to achieve peace of mind. You can try them. But as to whether they will work, you have peace of mind. Only you are the judge. So you pick the way that is best for you and apply it. And in doing so, remember this: that as you do unto others, they will do unto you. All right. This is where we bring the program to an end for tonight on the 18th of April, 2023, from Tema. Good evening, Lord Brad, which is Steve I say my guest was Anna Evia. He's the head of Kanyakom Enterprise. To you viewers, share the program, leave your comments, and stay tuned because there is more to come on this platform. Thank you so much. You have a good night. Crowbar Star, I'm out.